I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you on prime and composite numbers. You need to identify each number as prime or composite. If the number is composite, list all of its factors. So we have 8 numbers here. First one is 27, then 29, 30, 41, 51, 57, 87, 93. You can pause the video and write down your answer and then check with my suggestion. So let's begin by 27. 2 plus 7 is 9 so it can be divided by 9. It can also be divided by 3. So we know 27 has more than 2 factors. So 27 could be written as 1 times 27 it could be written as 3 times 9 so these are the factors for 27 so these are the factors for 27 and since it has more than two factors it is a composite number right so I'll write C for it right so it is composite number. now 29 as far as 29 is concerned, we cannot divide 29 by any other number. It has only two factors. The factors for 29 are 1 and the number itself, which is 29. And therefore, we'll call this as a prime number. Correct? So likewise, we can continue. Now we have 30. Now 30 is ending with 0. That means it could be divided by 10. So, of course, it has two factors which are 1 and 30. 1 and number itself, these are factors of every number, right? In addition to that, it has 3 times 10, 2 more. And since it is ending with 0, you could also divide by 5. So, 5 times 6 is also a factor. So, it has so many factors. You see how I am writing the factors of a number also, correct? So, kind of a rainbow uh, formation, right? So, 1 times 30, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. So, these are all the factors of 30. Now, let's look into 41. 4 plus 1, 5. So, it cannot be divided by 3. Now, 4 plus 41 means 1 times 41. It seems that there are only two factors and therefore this one is a prime number. Correct? Now let's look into 51. Some of the students get 51 sometimes wrong. Let's look into 51. If I add 5 and 1 I get 6, right? So that means it can be divided by 3. So let me divide 51 by 3. What do you get? 17, right? So it has more than 2 factors. So 51 could be written as 1 times 51 and also 3 times 17. Since it has 4 factors, it is a composite number. Do you see that? So if you made a mistake, you now know the trick. What you need to do is you need to find factors using divisibility rules. 57 is your next number. If you add 5 and 7, you get 12. 12 can be divided by 3 and therefore 3 is a factor for this number also. So, you know, there are two factors of course, 1 and 57. To find the other factors, we know 3 could be a factor. So, we'll divide 57 by 3. What do we get? We get 19. So, 3 times 19 is 57. Now, these are all prime numbers. So these are the factors for 57. Since we have more than two factors, this is also a composite number. Correct? Similarly, let's do 87. So when I add 8 and 7, what do I get? I get 15. 15 can be divided by 3, right? Therefore, 3 is a factor. So for 87, let's divide 87 by 3. You get 29. Purposely, I have taken these numbers since I have seen in test papers that students sometimes make a mistake and these are the numbers which are tricky, right? 
So, 87 has 3 and 29 as its factor. Since the number of factors are more than 2, it is also a composite number. 9 and 3. 9 and 3 is a composite number and you can find all its factors. So, 1 and 93 of course and of course you can divide by 3. So, if you divide by 3, you get 31, right? So, you get 31. So, these are the factors for 93. So, it is also a composite number. Now, you understand how to find whether a number is composite or prime. Now, as an exercise, what you can do is write all prime numbers between 1 and 100. Right? So, write all prime numbers between 1 and 100. You know 1 is not a prime number. Remember that. I hope this helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.